I'm gonna be honest with you, for $8, you're gonna be hard pressed to find something that's as competitive as this. How can e.l.f. sell you a foundation for $8 and a lip oil for $8? That's exactly what I thought to myself as soon as I saw the $8 price point. And then I looked at the pack and I said, because it's in a tube. Tubes are probably one of the most cost-effective ways to do product and it's really hard to compete at the mass market level with glass bottles because those are really expensive and you know what's even more expensive than glass bottles? Pumps. We got shade 24 light warm and shade 22 light warm, both in my hands. Let's lay them down and let's see what we can do. I'm not throwing any primer on. This is meant to be somewhere in between the land of full coverage and medium coverage, satin finish, which is not too matte and not too shiny. So we're gonna do 22 on this side and 24 on this side. We're gonna use the e.l.f. brush. Let's go in first with shade 22. This is meant to also be a long wear foundation. So the first ingredient is called isodotacane. It's supposed to dry quickly. And then the next ingredient we have is glycerin. So glycerin is gonna be your hydrating hero. Now they are claiming that this is good foundation for all skin types. I did not have to use a lot of product to get this level of coverage. My one call out when I first initially swatched it, when I got it in PR, was that it was a little yellow. When you lay something down, the bulk tone can always be a little bit yellow. But when you do lay something down on skin, it does inevitably shift or adapt and it does become workable. And usually you're likely gonna be wearing bronzer on top of this, blush on top of this. So you can always manipulate the shade tonality and have it work for you. I'm going in now with shade 24 on this side. This is gonna be a little bit deeper and a little more yellow because I do think the tone is off. I think they nailed the satin finish for sure. I actually am pleasantly surprised at how nicely the yellow tones that were pulling on my arm came through when I now have this laid out completely. I know I'm gonna get an extended wear. Definitely gonna feel good in this foundation for a good 10 hours. Doesn't feel heavy, doesn't feel cakey, doesn't feel greasy. The only bad thing I can really say is that I'm not in love with the shades, but there are also foundations on the market that cost more money than this that I'm not in love with the shades with. This is definitely the best complexion product in the foundation category that e.l.f. has launched. Ooh, those are fighting words. It is, once again, e.l.f has impressed me. Let's help him go! <laughs>